Hello, this is Warlord, and while this has been covered in other tutorials, I'm going to go ahead and go over it again because I do receive a lot of email on it, and that is why things move around in iClone. Well, it's simple. The iClone timeline is always active. So let's take a look at what we mean. You load a scene, and you play the scene. You're previewing, and you're not really thinking about anything else. And it looks pretty good, but you decide that you want these chairs and this table and lamp. You'd prefer them over here. And then, of course, you're going to want to move the couch over here. Whatever changes that you want to make, iClone makes it easy, like most point-and-click interfaces. But the problem is we moved all this without going back to frame 1. So here's what happens when we go to frame 1 and we play. Because iClone did exactly what we told it to do. It animated these objects between two key frames. Now let's go take a look. We'll look at the sofa. Go into the transform key. Here is the key in which this was the where we were at on the timeline when I made the changes. This is where we were at. This keyframe is the beginning. So that is where everything starts from. I then told it I wanted everything here on this frame. So all I clone knows to do is to move everything from one point to the other because that's what you told it to do. So in order to solve that, all we have to do is select what's affected by it. Right click, remove all animation. Before you do that though, you want to make sure that you have moved your slider to the point to where everything is in place. Move to where it's right, because if you were to do it right here, you, uh, you wouldn't get the result you wanted. So always make sure that you move past that second keyframe or whatever that keyframe is. Because if you're on the back side of it, it's just going to return it to the first keyframe. So we'll come in right there, right click, remove all animation, and everything's fine. Let's take a look at this in its simplest properties. Okay, I'm on frame one. Time scrubber's on frame one. I can move this all I want, and it's not going to animate. It just stays in place. Now we're playing, and we hit the play pause instead of the stop, and that leaves our time scrubber here. Then we say we want it over here. Okay, well, we actually just told iClone to animate it between those two keys. So it's not really a bug. It's just the fact that the timeline is always active. And what you're going to have to do is go in and find those transpose keys or use the simpler method of selecting the prop, right-clicking, and removing the animation. Hope this helps.